Hi Sagittarius, welcome to your angel card reading for the month of January. This is Mary, this is Leo Sunlight Insight. Thank you so much for stopping by and watching. If you're new, welcome returning. Thank you so much for coming by. So Sagittarius, I decided to switch it up this uh, month and do an angel card reading instead of messages from your spirit guides. But I am considering discontinuing the spiritual um, series. They don't seem to... Uh, get a lot of views so you can leave me a comment below let me know if you do enjoy this um and also i am considering stopping the general readings as they don't get a lot of views either and uh just focus on the love readings that seems to be more popular the singles and the love connections so again leave me a comment let me know what you think if you would like me just to concentrate on love or if you like these spiritual readings and also the general readings, I can continue to do them or I may eliminate them for now and maybe sometime in the future as the channel grows, maybe incorporating them back into uh, the channel. And also the new series I just started, the weekly element energy updates. Um, I may discontinue those as those aren't really getting views either. I may give them a couple more weeks, see how they go, but I may also eliminate those also. So again, let me know. Let me know what you think. Give me some feedback. Leave me some comments and uh, tell me what you think. And if I do keep these spiritual readings, I have been thinking about switching up the theme every month. Like one month, it may be messages from your spirit guides. One month, angel reading. One month, um, animal spirit guidance or wisdom of the earth or divine energy. You know, different themes like that if I continue to do them. So let me know what you think. Okay, so Sagittarius, hope everybody's doing well. Welcome in, welcome in. Hope you all had a fantastic Christmas and a happy new year. 2020 already, can you believe that? So Sagittarius, let's see what your angel team wants you to know at this time. And I will say at this time, because I do consider all my readings timeless. So if you'd like to go back and watch past readings of any kind, your links for your playlist are below, as well as the decks I'm using, social media links, how to reach out for personal reading, if you'd like to tip or donate or send a gift or a letter or something, uh, all that information is below. So Sagittarius is the Guardian Angel deck, and then we have the Archangel deck, the Crystal Angel deck. We'll clarify each card with a tarot card to give a little more meaning. And then I also have the Angel Answers deck right here. So as I'm doing this reading, think of a question you'd like to have answered by your angel team. It can be about anything or if you want advice or guidance about something, anything you have in your mind. We'll see what we get from your angel team for an answer with that deck or just advice or guidance. So think of that during this reading. So let's get two more here. I'm going to pull three from each deck and then we'll go over them and then I'll pull the tarot after that and get one for each card and then we'll go over that also. And then I'll go over the bottom of the tarot deck. A few cards in at the bottom. There's always extra meaning at the bottom of the deck. So I always, always go over the bottom. Except for these decks, I'm not. But the tarot deck, I always go over the bottom of the deck. All right, let's get three messages for Sagittarius. I'm feeling that one there, that one there. One more for Sagittarius, please. So I hope everyone's doing well. If, you, if you're new to my channel, you can check it out. If you like what you see, please feel free to like, share, subscribe, and comment. I love to leave the comments. If you subscribe, don't forget to hit the bell. As I said right now, I'm doing a lot of different readings, but I may eliminate some and do bi-weekly you know, love readings. Not sure. So if you do like what you see, please feel free to subscribe and comment and all that great stuff. Wow. Your cards are like jumping at me, Sagittarius. So I feel like you got mess you have messages that really want to come out for you. So let's see what we have here from the guardian angel. We have nurturing. And I'm going to read from the book with these because there may be messages in here. Direction. Somebody feeling lost. And revelation. Hmm. So we have each card is outlined in a color and that represents a certain guardian angel or archangel. And these are the same. They're both white. So it's a strong message is coming through by one particular angels so let's see green is um i believe that is doo -doo -doo, let's see archangel raphael so this message is from archangel raphael but is nurturing so i'm just going to read um, a little bit from that if i can find it here it is 
So we have nurturing. There can be immense satisfaction in caring for loved ones, but make sure you do not forget to look after yourself too. The angel of nurturing reminds you that you need to take time to care for your whole being, the emotional and spiritual aspects, as well as the physical. Ask the angel to show you an appropriate way to feed your soul. Perhaps by drawing your attention to a good book, inspiring you to meditate regularly, or bringing a pet into your life that you can walk with or sit and stroke. When you feel good in yourself, you will be able to nurture others with no need for a reward. Your loving energy will radiate from you like sunlight, enriching everyone and everything around you. So maybe a message for some, needing to nurture in yourself so you can nurture others, bringing something nurturing into your life also to help you, you know, feel that healing kind of energy. So these two messages here come under the Archangel of Gabriel. So the first one we have here is direction. I'll read that one for you. The angel of direction can be great help if you have reached a crossroads in your life or your, or if you need help to choose between several courses of action. She can show you the route that will be most beneficial for your soul. As soon as you are prepared to take action, call on the angel to help you. First, know that wherever you are is the right place to start. Ask yourself, what can I learn from my current situation? Open your mind to change so that you will be ready to follow in the new course that the angel reveals. Visualize the ideal outcome for yourself and ask her to help you to achieve it for the greatest good of all. Watch for clues such as remarks from other people showing that you are on the right track. All right, so needing to ask for help, assistance, and a direction, a decision, which way to go. Um, what can you learn from your current situation if you don't feel like you're in the right place or going in the right direction? Um, you, you know, you could be, but you're just not understanding or feeling it at the time. So we have here revelation. In the Bible, the idea of revelation signified the unveiling of the most profound mysteries of life, the spirit and the divine. In your own life, revelation may occur as a sudden insight, as a powerful as a trumpet call, as powerful as a trumpet call, or as the unveiling of an impulse so deep that you're that you never imagined its existence. The angel of revelation signals that you are about to learn supremely important things about your life and the universe. With an open heart, ask the angel for his life-enhancing message. Afterward, you may experience heightened awareness, have dreams or visions that provide further insight into the truth, and feel inspired with wisdom, as if the angel has whispered into your mind. So, something could be being revealed to you. You have just a big aha moment, epiphany, realization, revelation. Just like, aha, you know, I get it now. And it could be about going in the right direction or the direction you're going in or heading to. But needing to, you know, nurture yourself. Also, nurturing that direction and that revelation. Okay, let's see what we have here. Clear crystal intentions. Archangel Michael, be clear about what you desire and focus upon it with unwavering faith. So having crystal clear intentions here and knowing what you need to do, need, need, knowing what you need to do, what direction you need to go in, and being very focused and having faith, hope, and optimism in that and moving forward. He's holding the sword of truth there. So that sword is all about the mind and being, you know, having, Chris, having, um, I can't even talk right now, having very clear thinking kind of energy. So here we have beloved one, Archangel Chamuel. I am helping you with your spiritual soulmate relationship. So this could be a soulmate that you're wondering about um, in some way, or it could be just that soulmate spiritual spirituality relationship. And we have here moon cycles, Archangel Haniel. Notice how the moon affects your energy and manifestations. It capital, uh, capitalize upon those cycles. So if you're not familiar with the moon and its cycles and the energy of the moon, that may be something you may need to look into like moonology or that kind of energy. I'm not a moonologist or whatever here, but uh, something with the cycles, you know, the full moon, the new moon, you know, the so many phases of the moon. Um, 
notice maybe how your your life, what's going on in your life may be correlating with cycles of the moon. It's all energy. All right, so let's see. We have Azerite, deep emotional healing. Your heart is ready to heal from the past experiences and you are willing to devote time and energy toward therapeutic care. So something here needing deep healing. So whether you need spiritual healing, asking for assistance from family, friends, uh, spiritual healing, asking for help from your angels, your guides, getting therapy, um, counseling, you know, supportive groups, whatever here, so that you can heal from something. So I'm getting a lot of purple here. Appetite. Progress, not perfection. Don't compare yourself to others or judge yourself. Instead, focus upon how far you've come and all that you've learned. So progress, not perfection. Not everything is perfect. So just keep focused on where you're going, the progress you're making, whatever steps you're taking, whatever you're heading towards. Wow, all purple here. It's all about manifestation here and very spiritual energy. So passion and purpose. We have Rubalite. Your enthusiasm gives you energy and motivation to work on a meaningful project that's dear to your heart. So having passion and purpose, working on something here that you feel, that I feel uh, will bring you like more purpose in life, a better direction in life whatever that is for you okay it could be a project it could be a new endeavor it could be a career switch career a career change you know upgrading your career learning something new okay so let's see let's get one uh tarot here for each card to give a little more meaning for Sagittarius please so thank you to everybody who supported the channel whether you've tipped donated uh, reached out for personal reading, just subscribed, liked, all that great stuff, um, sent a gift, whatever here. I truly, truly appreciate it. I couldn't do it without you guys. So thank you. Thank you so much. So let's get some cards to clarify here for Sagittarius. And then we'll go over the messages and don't remember. Uh, don't remember. <laughs> don't, don't remember. Okay. Remember, don't forget to think of your question or whatever you want guidance or, or um, message on because we're going to pull from the angel answers. All right. So what are we nurturing here? So we have the five of wands. So inner conflict, conflict around you. So whatever you're feeling conflicted about, whatever conflict is going on around you, it's time to nurture, heal. Instead of being conflicted or just petty arguments or whatever, trying to nurture and heal people, places, things, situations in yourself, in your inner turmoil and um, conflicted energy that you have within you, that you can nurture that and move on from that energy. And then we have direction and we have the three of swords. So the three of swords is a very hurtful, painful um, energy here. You know, feeling like you're stabbed in the back, in, in the heart. So you may be, you know, hurt over something and you're not sure which direction do I go in now? What do I do? So really needing uh, help and assistance on, it could be getting help in friend, for friends, family, uh, spiritual help, angel, spirit team, again, counseling, therapy, whatever you need here to go in a new direction from something here that was a bit very painful and hurtful. What angel did we say that was? Uh, doo -doo -doo. Gabriel, Archangel Gabriel. So you may want to look into that angel because you have two messages from him and him, her. I'm not sure if it's a him or her, but I'm not an angel expert, but you may want to look into Archangel Gabriel and uh, work with that angel. So we have Revelation. So Seven of Cups. So feeling confused, conflicted, choices, options, daydreamy kind of energy. You know, weighing out the pros and cons, looking at all the options. But then I think a big revelation comes to you. In Seven is a very spiritually divine guided, divinely guided number. So I feel like whatever... Sorry, my throat is getting like all closed up. 
So whatever direction that, or whatever you're confused about, um, I feel like you, you know, you will have this big revelation or aha moment, epiphany about something you were very confused about. So a revelation will be coming to you. All right. So let's see. Clear, crystal clear intentions. Archangel Michael, be clear about what you desire and focus upon it with unwavering faith. So <laughs> if it's career oriented here, it's telling you not to give up, to keep focused, to keep going on because you will be stable, secure, and dependent here with the nine of coins is usually a single energy. It doesn't have to be, but somebody who can take care of themselves, they can make their coin. They have the abundance that they need. They're very stable and grounded and very independent. So it's a good energy. So stay focused here to your stability. And we have beloved one, Archangel Chamiel. I am helping you with your spiritual soulmate relationship. So we have the high priestess. So this is listening to your gut, your intuition. So if it's a person that you're wondering, you know, is this my soulmate? Is this someone meant for me? The high priestess here is uh, someone who is in tune and in touch. So you may need to listen to your gut, your intuition, if it's about a person and really following, you know, those instincts, that higher knowing, being divinely guided kind of energy. But then the high priestess also keeps to themselves. They don't express much. They keep all the secrets that they know to themselves. So you may be uh, holding back from a, a potential soulmate here, but you really need to trust your inner knowing about this uh, divine soulmate connection here. Or this is a, just a very spiritual energy. You could just be very connected to spirit right now and that spiritual energy. And maybe just keeping to yourself also. Okay, so we have moon cycles. Archangel Haniel. Notice how the moon affects your energy and manifestations and capital pies, capital pies on it. Capital lies. I can't even talk. <laughs> I think this is my fourth reading right in a row. So upon these cycles. So now we have the hermit. So the hermit goes off and does that inner journey soul searching work, finds their light from within and shines it forward, finds uh, their way and their path and their light. So I feel like, you know, you may need to go off on your own and um, to understand things in your life. I don't know, something with the moon. Maybe some of you just need to research the moon and moonology. And this is going off on your own and doing all this research and this inner journey work. And something with the moon here maybe could really help you learning about that um, energy. Things may come to light for you. Okay, so we have here Azerite, deep emotional healing. Your heart is ready to heal from past experiences and you are willing to devote time and energy toward therapeutic care. So it's the Queen of Cups. So, and Cups is all about emotions, feelings, love, compassion, peace, and harmony. It's a very nurturing, giving kind of energy. So I feel like this is healing all this emotional, compassionate kind of um, energy that you have so that you can be more in this loving, caring, compassionate, emotional energy. I don't mean emotional like a crybaby, but just, you know, being in tune in touch with your emotions and being more peaceful, loving, caring, compassionate, and healing all that emotional energy. And we have appetite, progress, not perfect, perfection. Don't compare yourself to others or judge yourself. Instead, focus upon how far you've come and all that you've learned. And we have the three of cups. So this is about celebrating, rejoicing, reuniting, coming together, having a good time. So celebrate, celebrate how far you've come. It's not perfect. You may not be where you wanna be, but there's always something to celebrate and go out and have a good time or have a few drinks or whatever here and just being happy. This is all about happy times. Be happy. It may not be perfect, but be happy for whatever progress that you are making in your life. All right, so we have Rubelite, passion and purpose. Your enthusiasm gives you energy and motivation to work on a meaningful project that's near and dear to your heart. So what is that? So we have the eight of cups. So this is an energy of walking away from something that is no longer fulfilling for you, but you always can walk to something more fulfilling for you. So 
This is leaving what is not passionate and purposeful for you and heading towards what is. So whatever enthusiasm you have, it's giving you energy and motivation to walk away, but walk to and work on more meaningful things for you that are near and dear to your heart. So whatever that may be, if it's, you know, relationships, if it's, you know, work, career, finance, projects, endeavors here, a way of living, habits, you know, leaving old habits behind and, go, you know, having a new way of life, whatever it is for you that you can walk towards that passion and purpose. So let's see what's on the bottom of the deck. So we have the four of coins. So holding on your stability, holding on to what you have, um, your foundation, your basis. So really not giving, just kind of holding on to what you have. And then here's a brand new beginning. So very stable, sturdy, grounded beginning to growth and abundance and this could be a new job this could be uh, a windfall of money coming in uh, learning something new that will lead you to a better purpose in life to more uh, more of an abundant life this is a firm foundation and building upon that and here's your firm foundation here so and working together you could be learning something new going back to school um, mastering a new craft kind of energy here so a lot of pentacle energy here. So it could be heavily on finances, career here. But mastering a new craft, learning something new. Um, and there's your brand new beginning. And holding on your st stability foundation kind of energy also. So let's see, Sagittarius. Whatever question you're thinking about at this time, whatever you've been thinking about, let's see if we get an answer, if we get advice or guidance for whatever you're thinking about that you want to ask your angels at this time. So can we please have an answer or a card for Sagittarius at this time, please, Angel Team? Thank you so much. Woo! I guess that's your card. No need to worry. So whatever you're thinking about, whatever you're wondering about, whatever you're asking, it's telling you here there's no need to worry. Then we have unlikely on the bottom of the deck. So I think you're feeling like unlikely, like things are just unlikely. Whatever you, you know, whatever direction you're going in, am I doing the right thing? The very like I'm getting a feeling that you're feeling like everything is just, well, that's unlikely to happen. That's not going to happen, you know, kind of energy. But that is telling you there's no need to worry. Okay, Sagittarius, best of luck to you. And I'm sending you many light, love, and blessings. And always, always shine your light.